It's Tech Lid and we're bullish. The stampede is coming, baby. In this video, we will be talking about sundial growers. The ticker symbol is SNDL. We're going to take a look here at an investor place article. You're deep in the weeds if you invest in sundial grower stock. This is the headline. Of course, it seems like a FUD type of headline. Fear, uncertainty, and doubt is what I mean when I say FUD. The underlining business has virtually nothing to offer investors in SNDL stock. Of course, me personally, I do not believe this. But as you know, with Investor Place and The Motley Fool and other types of sources, there are different contributors, so therefore we have people who obviously believe in a stock and then there's others who may not, depending on what is going on. So basically, I'm not going to read this entire article, we're just going to look through it a bit. Yeah, Canadian marijuana producers SNDL stock has climbed a healthy 73% since the beginning of the year. A lot of it is due to the meme stock mania induced by the infamous Wall Street Bets forum on Reddit. So just think about that right there. A stock that is up 73% on the beginning of the year, that's already a win. You're already winning, but in terms of where the direction has been going, one could tend to believe why this is sort of a FUD type of article from the perspective of the author. As you know, the catalysts in SNDL are mostly that they have a lot of cash on hand. They're not a company who is in debt, so always keep that perspective in mind. Sundial Growers has money to play with. They're not going to burn through their money, so it is what it is. Dilution Concerns Look, though Sundial doesn't need cash at this time, its management will likely make another stock offering if its price rises again. As of December, its unrestricted cash balance was at more than 60 million Canadian dollars. In the past year, it burned through almost the entirety of the money to run its operations. As it said, it almost burned through the money, but it did not. And I has, as I have mentioned, and I have mentioned before in many videos, SNDL does have a lot of cash on hand. They mention a lack of growth catalysts, but one could argue this, right? Because Sundial Growers has had joint ventures of sort with other companies, so it's not that it's a lack of growth catalysts, it's just that SNDL is one that will need patience. Remember that, people. A lot of things here are at play. This is the final word on SNDL. Sundial Growers has had a tumultuous 2020, and the first half of 2021 hasn't been much different. Its management has done well to fortify its balance sheet through secondary offerings, but has done little to boost its revenue growth. It has no catalyst which can meaningfully increase its revenues apart from the potential legalization in the U.S. However, everything is premature at this stage and it's tough to see SNDL stock offering anything for the long-term investor. So look, right there, they're kind of contradicting themselves with how the article is written and even their own beliefs, I feel. They're saying everything is premature at this stage, so therefore, they're not even sure about Sundial Growers being a failure. They cannot confidently say that SNDL is not going to grow. As I said, and I have reiterated every time in my channel, Sundial Growers under a dollar is a steal. It is a steal because it has so many prices where it swings up and down. For traders, SNDL is definitely not a loser. You could definitely reap the rewards of some benefits when it comes to swing trading. Look, SNDL at the end of the day, the thing has so much money and they're just trying to grow from that perspective and grow their company forward. It's not a failure by any stretch of the imagination. 
Before we continue with this video, just a quick disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. Always make sure to do your own due diligence and research when you invest in any type of market. When you do the homework and you do the research, you will come out winning. Bank on it. So SNDL yesterday closed the day at 81 cents in the after shares, after market hours. So as you could see in the last five days, SNDL was really just up and down, up and down, not much movement. But then you did see that retracement here to 78 cents. And then on the high for the week hit as much as 83 cents. I know a lot of you are thinking it's just a four cent swing. It's not a lot of money. Guess what? When you, the stocks don't cost anything almost and they're under a dollar, four cents is a lot of money. Trust me, especially if you're investing with more money. Look, let's keep it honest and let's keep it real. Tech lit bull doesn't BS anybody. If I'm investing with $4,000 of Sundial Growers, my profits is not going to be the same as someone who's only investing $20 of Sundial Growers. Come on now. Apples and oranges. $4,000 of an investment is a whole lot more than just $20. Of course, I'm not here to tell anyone what to invest, how much to invest. If you're someone that's investing and all you got is $20, salute and more power to you put that twenty dollars down but i'm saying in the perspective of swing trading if you have four thousand dollars and you're gonna swing trade four cents profit you're gonna see it as opposed to just 20 cents when it's literally just the four cents times your 20 shares or twenty dollars worth of the shares it's a whole lot more money when you're playing with bigger money so at the end of the day, always keep that in mind. Do not think, do not underestimate those four or five swing cent when they go up. Do not underestimate that. Do not look down on that because Sundial Growers has a lot of potential for swing traders. Even when the stock is down, swing traders have made some serious money. Let's take a look here at tradingview.com just have a few support levels and a resistance level mapped out we have the 78 cents support level which was the first one it has since gone above that SNDL is currently at 80 cents it was 81 cents actually after hours the next line of support would be 84 cents my suggestion to swing traders who are trying to get in and get a few cents of profit I would say the next zone to take out would be at around 84 to 85 cents. So that would be your exit if you were in at 81 cents or lower. Yes, it is very, very small, just four cents. But as I said, depending on how much you're playing with, how much money you have, four cents is a lot of money and do not underestimate it. The resistance level here was at 88 cents this was something that I had mapped out before I still think that this level from 88 to 90 cents this would be your next target level if you're looking to have even more profits so of course right now I'm only talking to swing traders as it comes to trading for SNDL however for you long-term investors you already know what's at stake Sundial Growers has already ventured with other companies and they're growing the direction of their company. Do not listen to all that FUD that is going around that SNDL hasn't done anything. If you look, SNDL is actually up on the entire year. They have not lost money in terms of the stock. SNDL is a winner up to date. Another thing, the cash on hand, SNDL has that. And then the marijuana, the legalization laws in the U.S., that is another thing that is coming and it will be in the works in the next few years possibly. So long term, do not shake, do not be shaken out. It is what it is. I keep it real with you guys always. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up so we could have more eyes seen on this video. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. It's all good. It's a free country. 
if you haven't done so already please do consider subscribing to the channel make sure you hit that notification bell so you can stay notified informed and up to date until the next time peace and love to the tech lid legion